Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin has turned around exactly where it needed to, to basically protect the yellow directly bullish scenario. We can take a look at that now and we need now the next five wave move to the upside on the micro level to have a good idea that really um, Bitcoin has bottomed there in our micro support region that you know we've been looking at now for a few days and this really hasn't changed. Um, so let's actually take a look at, let's actually take a look at this micro structure. Also, maybe let's start here and looking at the bigger picture for anybody who is, you know, anybody who's new on the channel and so on. Idea is still that we could get one more low into the main support region. That's the risk is still there. I have to repeat it because we get new viewers all the time. Um, so it is very much possible that this here is just a B wave top and we're coming down in a C wave, but the move down is so far only in three waves and we're holding support. So I cannot confirm that and I highlighted to you that I'm going to look for higher prices as long as we are holding that upper support zone. And that could happen in the yellow wave count. I'm not entirely happy with the yellow wave count. What's the yellow count? This presents one scenario in which this entire correction has already finished and we don't need one more low as shown in the white count. So in the yellow scenario, the overall low could be in, it could have bottomed on the 1st of May. It is a pretty messy structure at the moment. I mean, overall, as you can see here, before we really dive into the micro patterns, this here is still a massive sideways range and the price is definitely trying to break higher it would be ideal, you know, because the next upside target is still around about 85 to 90K for this fifth wave of a larger third wave. Yeah? This is still the overall idea and that hasn't changed at all. Therefore, obviously it would be ideal to go up straight away. Okay, if it needs another, let's say diversion through the main support area, that's fine. As long as we don't break below 50,700 because this is, um, because this is the main support level and I have to change my overall expectation about this chart if we break below, well, that level. So let's go to the 30 minute chart. Let's take a look at the yellow wave count in which a wave one topped here on the 6th of May. We have a wave two pull back. I explained to you this could be a third wave top. Um, the problem is it's a bit short for a third wave. I discussed all that and those problems in the last video. Just wanna summarize again that the yellow count, I don't like the structure as well. That leaves me with very balanced probabilities, but I have to you know, give you my view and I'm leaning towards higher prices, but will change my perspective below 64,360. That's why I'm tracking support. I just need a break below 64,000. 360 to basically confirm that the white B wave has topped. Yeah. Um, so overall, therefore, no change at the moment. I highlighted yesterday that this would be the ideal placed spot to turn around or at least attempt a reversal. Um, I need five waves up now, okay, to basically get the next level of confirmation that indeed we've bottomed here. This will be invalidated this microstructure, if there is a break below the, well, today's low at 66,650, uh, yeah. And it's possible that we're now working on this third wave. So we have a wave one, a wave two, this could be a third. As you know, the 1.38 extension is sort of my first ideal target for a third. We're looking here at 69,400. Then a fourth wave could give us a pullback to around about 68.6K and then a fifth wave, I want to see five waves that reach the 1.618 extension at 69,900. Please be aware that this is not only the 1.618 FIP extension, which is an ideal target for a fifth wave. It's also the previous B wave high of this corrective downside structure in this fourth wave. So I'm looking at five waves up and there is a good likelihood that we find some resistance there. But if it can form five waves to 69.9K, we have the first level of confirmation that we've indeed bottomed here. And please also pay attention to the trend line. It could act as a bit of a resistance level here. So pay attention to that as well. I try to make that a little bit more obvious. Um, 
And as long as we only have three waves up, one more low definitely has to be considered. That would get very protracted then and would actually resemble a five wave move down. So it wouldn't be good. So ideally, the I mean, if this is the yellow count, then the low is ideally in. I just need now the five waves up to be able to confirm it. Until then, there's a risk. It's, it sort of morphs into something more messy, something more different, uh, something different. Yeah, and, and that's sort of what I'm tracking right now. I will keep you updated about that. Um, do I forget, any, do I forget anything? No, I told you even about the invalidation point. Obviously, I mean, if this is a third wave and this is a bit unreliable, but then the micro, I mean, this is really like, you know, short-term support. This is what needs to hold now in any pullback, like 67,512. But I'll take that off the chart because this has to move with the price. But the 50% FIB level of the current third wave is now support. That's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.